Problem 12. A pair of fair six-sided die is rolled n times. What is the least value of n such as the probability that the sum of the numbers face off on the roll equals 7 at least once is greater than 1 over 2? So digest this question one step by step because it literally tells you step by step of what you need to know. First of all, the probability that the sum of the numbers face up equals 7. So for die 1 and die 2, the possible combinations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, paired with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that's 1 case, 2 case, 3 cases, 4 cases, 5, sixes, five cases, and 6 cases. So there are a total of 6 to, um, six possible arrangements. But for each arrangement, what is the probability What is the probability of getting each arrangement? Well, for die 1 to be equal to 1, since it's fair, that'll just be 1 over 6. Multiply by 1 over 6 gives 1 over 36. By the same logic, each case will result in the same possibility. So we have six cases, each resulting in 1 over 36 of a possibility, gives you 1 over 6 to be the probability that the sum is equal to 7. Now with this, what can we say about the next part? At least once. The probability of rolling these pair of dice n number of times for there to be at least one, at least one, at least one success where the sum is equal to 7. Well, let's do complementary counting. If there must be at least one success, that must mean it's 1 minus the probability that the sum is not equal to 7. Because this probability will be where at least 0 times, right? This is the case where everything fails. If everything fails, 1 minus the case of everything failing, that must mean all other cases must be the case where there's at least one success, right? Think about it. All, like, like if I were to have, you know, this case right here, this is all the failures, right? If I were to subtract out the, the probability that everything else fails, then what I'm left with is the probability that at least something works. That is, um, you know, conjugate counting, and that's one of the most, uh, you know, one of the very fundamental uh, counting principles where you have at least one is equal to one minus the probability that, that everything else fails. And in this case, it's where the sum is not equal to seven. Well, we know the probability when it's equal to seven. And since all probabilities sum to one, one minus one over six gives its, count, its counterpart, where five over six is equal to probability that the sum is not equal to seven. So in this case, 1 minus 5 over 6 would be your, your case, which is equal to 1 over 6, right? That's the same thing as it working. But we're rolling this n number of times. So after n rolls, we have 5 over 6 to the n possibilities. And since this, can no, this cannot exceed 1, 1 subtracted from it, or this term subtracted from 1, would give you the probability that it's greater than 1 over 2. And that's just following along. And you might be wondering, hey, why am I taking this to the nth power? The reason why for this is because this is the probability equivalent of the and relationship. Every role must be some term and another term and another term and another term until, you know, I have a seven and another term and so on. This and relationship where every role must be a given number is why there's the nth exponent because you're multiplying five over six to the nth time. Every single trial is a fail until I get that one case that works, but it's an and relationship. Everything must be in one case. So one minus five over six to the nth power is greater than one half would be what the question is trying to represent. So let's simplify this. That's what negative five over six to the nth power is greater than half minus one, negative half. Since we divided, so we must multiply the negative one on both sides to get rid of the negative sign, we must change the direction of the sign. So five over six to the nth power must be less than one over two. Now, by default, is five over six less than half? Well, obviously not, because when n is equal to 1, 5 over 6 and 3 over 6, this is obviously greater. We want it to be less than. And, so, and since we're trying to find the least possible value of n, the first time 5 over 6 to the nth power is less than half would be our answer. So when n is equal to 2, right, that would just be equal to 25 over 36. And that, compared to 36 and 18, is still greater than. Now let's consider n is equal to 3. When n is equal to 3, that would be 125, and that would just be equal to uh, 216. So 216, half of that is 108, and that is still greater. So what is n is equal to 4? When n is equal to 4, that will just be 216 times 4, so 216, or 216 times 6, so uh, 912, so 1296, uh, 1296, and that is uh, 5 to the 4, so 625, compared to 1296 divided by 2, which is 6. 4, 8. Wait a minute, 6 for 8 is finally greater than 625. So n is equal to 4 will be the least possible value of n such that this inequality holds true. Now let's scroll up. How many times must we roll it? Well, n is equal to 4 is our answer. So answer choice C must be that answer.